Transitioning to remote instruction or remote learning is a, a much more complicated than just flipping a switch. Tonawanda City School Superintendent Dr. Timothy Oldenburg tells me teachers need time to prepare virtual lessons to engage students from remote locations. And there's nothing wrong with a good old fashioned snow day. If we were to close school, um, it would be a traditional snow day, uh, which I think is still uh, one of the joys of being uh, uh, a young child and, and having that, uh, that surprise. That, that school's just canceled for the for the day. It really loses something when you're calling for a remote day. Niagara Falls City School Superintendent Mark Laurie agrees. He tells me it makes no sense to force students into remote learning on a snow day. The remote days are really going to be in play when you have exhausted all of your snow days and we have prepared for three and haven't taken any yet. You have pre-notice, especially in a district like Niagara Falls, and that you go into it with an understanding that your full lesson and the full engagement of students is not necessarily going to be there. There wasn't enough snow in the city of Tonawanda to call for a snow day, but the superintendent tells me some of his high school students made their case. Do we have any insight? Everything uh, from, uh, you know, mental health and the uh, the anxiety of uh, school leading into the end of the first semester with some exams and midterms coming up to uh, celebratory reasons for the bills, uh, the win. The superintendent says a snow day is all part of growing up here in western New York, and he's not ready to take that away from students. Eileen Buckley, 7 News.